Hey everyone, I am here with my pregnancy vlog. I'm just gonna sit here and kind of update you guys on what's been going on. I am six months, aka 24 weeks. I know! Time is going by pretty fast, but then again, slow. <laughs> Because I'm like, okay, just the other day I was like 10 weeks and, you know, stuff like that. And now I'm at 24. That's crazy. But then I think, oh my gosh, I have like up till 40 to go. All right. You know, so it's kind of like a mixed feelings with how fast everything is going. And next thing is, let me touch on this real quick. Yes. I'm single and I'm still in this room. I'm still at the same address. Nothing's changed with that. Full stop, close the book, put it away, right? Okay, so let me start. I'm supposed to write down these things, but just I'm gonna just jump in there and start regularly, like changes with my body and stuff like that. As far as breakout goes, I know women say that they stop having breakouts, they have more breakout, but I'm pretty early, so I don't know what's gonna happen in the next month or so, you know? I still have a ways to go, so right now my face is doing okay. I'm getting little stuff as usual. It's not super clear it's not like you know breaking out crazy or anything it's pretty much the same my nose in some days my nose look huge other days it looks normal I've got mixed reactions with that too some people saying that you know it looks bigger some people don't see it whatever is whatever Okay, so let me look in the mirror. What else? What else? My breast has grown a size nothing too noticeable um to you know other people but of course i would notice it and how my bras are fitting how my you know how they look in tops and things like that so it probably grew a size or so not two maybe just one size talking about growing i've been putting on about a pound a week for the past few times i did my checkups I've been putting on a pound a week, so I'm always like four pounds heavier when I go to the doctor. Today is Sunday, my next visit is Wednesday, so I was at 144, so I should be at 148 if I'm still going, you know, average rate, I should be at 148, but we would see, you may not see this video until after then, so I'll probably annotate my weight. Um, yeah, you probably see this video later on in the week. Alright, so I'm carrying pretty small, meaning my tummy is not super huge, which I should be grateful for. <laughs> I'll show you um, at the end of the video, but I should be grateful for it because, yo, the back pain is crazy. And my feet, I'm gonna get to my feet, but my feet hurt so bad. I've been using this this is pretty good you guys this is probably expired it was also 109 and it works pretty well when i massage my feet but to get that pain in my back it's like you can't reach the pain i just be stretching i try to massage it out the pain is just so deep inside there that i can't reach it this can't even you know soak in to reach the pain is just really ridiculous and plus i'm not home every day just chilling and you know taking it easy and stuff like that i am pretty much on my feet almost every day so the pain is real the pain is real right now i'm not getting any hot burn which is good i've been trying to stay away from spicy food well if i know it's spicy i wouldn't eat it um, a lot of the times, like if I go to a buffet or something and I try something and it's spicy, I'm like, this is so good, you know? <laughs> but if I know it's spicy, I wouldn't eat it. I got a lot of hot burn when I just um, started the second trimester. It was really bad. Like the food would just stay on my chest like crazy. It went on for a few days well. But after that, it was all good. Um, 
yeah staying away from trying to stay away from the spicy food and stuff like that um i'm not eating that healthy i would admit i am whatever i'm eating especially at home i try to incorporate a salad i love spinach so i try to incorporate um the spinach and you know different other veggies in there for the salad to just kind of make up for the not so healthy meal <laughs> you know i'm not going crazy i'm trying to cut out pizza one one week i was eating pizza like crazy because my cousin ordered pizza like all the time and it's just hard to resist and plus you know pizza is just like when you're on the road is a kind of like quick go-to thing just to pick up eat and keep it moving and stuff like that so i'm trying to cut that pizza out of my life for now it has grown a size yep yep i was like a seven and a half so i would buy size eight boots and size maybe size eight and a half boots depending on the cut now i'm guessing my feet is maybe an eight and a half or something because now i am looking around for boots and stuff and I have to get a nine there's no if and so but no eight and a half i have to get a nine so my feet is not swollen it has grown a size which is crazy to me like it's it's bugging me it it's really bugging me <laughs> it's really bugging me because i'm five five with a size nine like it, it it doesn't add up for me but it's something that I need to get used to because my feet it wouldn't shrink I think this is the size that I would go on life you know having so I just really have to come to terms to that but I'll tell you it's hard as far as clothing goes you saw my uh, fall winter haul it, it incorporates just thick old big old sweaters leggings I bought one maternity jeans from is it a store maternity or no motherhood i think one maternity jeans that should be good i'm not wearing it now it's kind of heavy so i pretty much wear it you know when it gets a little more cold i think one will be fine because i think the leggings and stuff will be fine i got me my over the knee boots and i'll probably pick up another one if i see one that i like in brown because i have enough black boots <laughs> and um uh, yeah that's basically it for clothing what else do i have to say about this update i have no cravings if i'm hungry and if i see something i feel for that something other times when i'm other times when i'm hungry is like i i don't feel for anything i'm like Ugh, i don't i don't feel like eating i don't want to eat then i remember the child and i'm like i gotta eat so i just stuff my mouth with whatever and it's just like you know because i don't sometimes i really don't have a feel or taste for anything so yeah days it, it just just it's kind of like a play it by ear type thing when it comes to me and the food i don't have any cravings that's very interesting a lot of people tell me that they crave this they crave that i'm like well not me <laughs> what else i still have that nam 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 taste in my mouth i hate it i heard that it wouldn't go away until um i don't i can't explain the taste it's a kind of bitter sometimes kind of metallic -y taste i can't really explain it but it's it's really really very weird so ugh, yeah there's that um i think i pretty much touched on everything I bought the baby. <laughs> I bought the baby a couple things already. And then people start giving me stuff. And I was so worried that, oh my gosh, girl, I'm going to have to do a lot of washing because you may not have a lot of clothes. But I've gotten like a whole box of clothes from my bestie because she has a girl. And I just took it everything home i went through everything i love everything thank you very much it come in real handy i'm not buying anything else for her 
because I know for the shower, people are most likely gonna buy clothes and stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of hold off because I don't already have a lot. My cousin who was visiting here from Trinidad, she bought stuff as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even my ex, yes, that's what I said, bought some socks for her. It was just, you know, people are just buying little things here and there and putting it aside and it's just pre going pretty well. So as far as clothes, I don't have I don't have to spend my money on any clothes. I haven't done my um, registry yet. I have to get that done and then um, put together the invites. I think I will have the shower like a month before the due date, which is early December. I'm gonna have the shower, God willing, if everything goes smooth. Yeah at the house something small nothing too crazy um yeah so i guess i will see you guys next month at seven months <laughs> for another update i may not have much to say as this one because this one was just kind of way overdue like six months overdue and um, I know in a video, I don't know if you guys, you know, held my word when I said that I would post a video on how I felt and stuff. Because I, I was vlogging as soon as I found out. I decided not, I erased all of that video because I don't feel that way anymore. And I don't think I should kind of like dwell on any negative feelings pertaining to the pregnancy and stuff. It's all positive from here on out. It's all good. Everything is... I feel good about it you know and it's not perfect you know everything surrounding pregnancy is not perfect but I've decided to just kind of focus on the positive for my health and my child's health you know um, that's life and it goes on so I'm just trying to enjoy this part of my life so that's it let me show you like a sneak peek of some of the stuff that I picked up and you pretty much guess the sex <laughs> just a look at some of the stuff that I have here for baby so you know the sex right I don't even have to say it although I almost did look how cute this is oh my gosh I love these oh my goodness yeah Yep. Yeah. Okay then. Bye.